Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Pisces friends. My name is Libra Ambers, and we're going to be discussing your tarot for today. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? All right, let's get going, shall we? Now, my beautiful Pisces, we're, we have here three piles with three clarifier cards attached to each of these main cards. All right, so past, present, and future. Now, when we get to the future, remember that it is not set in stone and that it can change anytime you want it to, all right? I mean, there are some things that are unavoidable, but you can dodge them, or if it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you. Do you know what I mean? See, it'll res resonate or it won't. And if you don't like the way it's going, you can, since you're being able to see it coming your way, if this resonates with you really well, then what you can do is come at it sideways and it won't expect it. All right, let's get going, shall we? Now, my beautiful Pisces, your past energy is the Two of Cups. All right, you were, you know, you were in balance, you know, compromising with someone and able to, you know, sit down, sit down with them in harmony. You know, you used to be two frenemies or enemies and you're able to sit down and work through your issues. All right. Your first clarifier card is the Ace of Wands. This signifies new tasks, motivation, and energy. All right? So, so you're given new tasks, and you've got a whole new energy. This is nice, actually. I like that. Now, this is the Eight of Hazards. This is your second clarifier, Invention ingenuity and new approach so you're coming at something from a whole new perspective and new angle and you're just you're not giving up at all or you were not giving up your third clarifier for your past energy is the knight of wands you were dealing with an aries leo or sagittarius someone you know someone who's either bold impetuous or in an adventure or you are stepping into that all right but I feel like this isn't so much you as it is them. Someone who's there at the right time, the right place, right time, you know? Okay, your current energy is the magician. This, this guy, sometimes he, he, oh man, how do I find the words? Sometimes he's a de very deceptive opportunist and a puppet master, all right? But, you know, in other decks, they talk about if he's in the upright position, which, you know, if he's in the upright position, and I only do uprights currently. I'm still learning, but um, if he's in the upright, it's like he's reaching to the heavens with one arm in their deck and then pointing down at some flowers, so manifesting some. So, because this is my deck, I feel like... So it's either, you know, you're dealing with someone who's very deceptive, an opportunist, or... No. No, you're dealing with, you're dealing with someone who's very deceptive, actually. Yeah. Huh. Now, your first clarifier is the Five of Swords. You're fighting with someone. You're feeling like, you know, the bickering... And a severing of the ties is going to lead you to defeat. Alright, you're just sick of the bullshit. You just wish it would end. Not so much the relationship, but the arguing and the fighting. Now, Pisces, you're, you're currently in the Nine of Swords. You know, you're very paranoid, full of anxiety. And you feel like there's no hope. There's nothing but hopelessness. But let me tell you something. It's as busy as you are, this is all in your mind. Alright? And you are working really hard, and people see that, and that's what's great about this one. This one's my favorite card, okay? Don't tell anybody, but this is my favorite card. This card symbolizes possibilities, financial rewards, and new beginnings, all right? This is the Ace of Hazards. This is an earthly sign, if that makes sense. It's like cups are water, swords are air, signs... Wands are fire signs, and then hazards slash pentacles slash coins, depending on which deck you have, is the earthly elements, like what you have. Let me tell you something. Someone's reaching out for you. They're going to bring you up. 
they're helping you succeed. They see you when you don't don't feel like anybody's seeing really seeing you or hearing you. All right. And the reason why I like this card so much is because in the story it talks about getting a high five from the undead. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. <laughs> Now your future energy, remember, is not set in stone and can change at any time that you, you choose it to, alright? Is the death card. Now this card doesn't always mean that there's going to be a death in your family, but that's not to rule it out. Does that make sense? But my reading here, it's talking about you getting new beginnings, transforming and rebirthing into something else. Alright, maybe you're pregnant, giving birth. Maybe it's an end of a bad situation and the beginning of something better. First clarifier is the two of wands. You have choices to make, all right? You have to, you have a crossroad, you have the decision. Do you want to go after him or do you want to go after him? This is very, very important that you decide which way to go, okay? But, but think carefully the pros and cons of your decision. But don't think too long, otherwise, you know... Opportunities will pass you by. Your second clarifier is the judgment card. This signifies karma, acceptance, and responsibility. So you're taking responsibility of, you know, not so much the whole situation, but your part in a situation. You're taking responsibility that you're cutting ties and you're not you're not gonna be a part of the drama anymore. Alright? And with that, that being said, you are stepping into your empress mode, alright? Fertility, maternal, and success. Here's the deal. Each of us, it doesn't matter if you have a penis or a vagina, okay, if you're male or female. We each have male and female energy within us, kind of like yin and yang. And each of us aspire to be, for the female to become the empress, all right? And for the male energy part of us, we aspire to be the emperor. I know that sounds confusing, but... In a normal deck, they're like the mother and father of everybody. They, they're they very wise and loving and don't put up with shit from anyone. But you, Pisces, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, I'm talking to you. You are an empress. And that's what's so great about this is that you went through some shit. You fought, bickered, but you know... This is just the roller coasters of everything. Okay, life is nothing but a roller coaster. On the bottom of my deck, I have him. This is the Page of Cups. You're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or yourself, Pisces. Maybe someone else, right? Very creative, kind, and artistic. But he's also a soft stalker. Now, you're probably thinking that doesn't make any sense. In a regular deck, that's not what it says. But in my deck, in his story, on my deck, it talks about him hiding in the bushes, or someone hiding in the bushes. I think it's him. Him him who could be a him or a her, depending on your story, right? Hiding in the bushes, watching you from afar, with nothing but love in their heart. So you're being watched, alright, by a soft stalker. You know, somewhere along the line... You're, pros you're, you're, you're getting independence, confidence, and prosperity, right? But you're dealing with someone who's very um, full of deception, sabotaging your shit, and stealing from you. Someone who shouldn't be allowed near the firepower. But you're content here, alright, with your family, wherever you are. Enjoying yourself. While the chaos is outside, you're like, no, nah, I'm not letting that in here. You know, peace, contentment, family is all that matters to you. Got your nine of cups. Wishes, dreams, mater material and physical happiness. And plus, I mean, who else doesn't like her? She's like my second favorite. She kind of looks like Laura Ingalls and Princess Leia had a baby and that was her. <laughs> You are dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or you're stepping into the Queen of Swords, right? Very intelligent, sharp-tongued, and unscrupulous. See, just because, just because you're an Empress doesn't mean you can't step down every once in a while and tell people to shut the fuck up and to get off your lawn.
okay? Kind of up in your head. New relationships and beginnings. And then emotional journeys. This was nothing but a an emotional journey for you, all right? And, and you are not alone in it. I mean, God, you're working so hard. You're working hard for your money. You're dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. You know, this is ambitious material possessions and entrepreneur. You are starting fresh. You're tired of you're tired of being an underling. You are a boss baby, all right? And what that means is that you are getting you are getting everything you want. But are you actually getting what you need? This this shows the six of swords. You're leaving the past behind. And traveling and transitioning and that's what makes it so great is you you're transitioning into the empress and you're forever on the move travel expansion you're out you got this baby you're definitely dealing with a king of hazards in a regular deck it's king of coins all right sorry about the glare i don't know how to we'll just put it on his head he did We'll just pretend like we'll put whoever we love who resonates with this, their face on his head. <laughs> Down with a Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. That's really strong in your deck. This one symbolizes distant, hardworking businessmen. Someone who's good with their money, but not so good with their heart. And you're very, you know, responsible, determ determined, you have a new beginning. Also dealing with another Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. But remember what I said earlier. You have so many options. You have to pick between those two. You know, between those two. What you're going to do and how you're going to do it. You've got to make yourself happy. That's the number one. And by doing that, you got to realize how amazing you are. You've got choices that you have to consider. And, you know, you're kind of daydreaming. And that's great. Now, I'm going to let you go. With that, I love you. I hope that this helps. You are going through something currently, but it's not going to last forever. It's going to get better, I promise you. It always gets worse before it gets better, but you know what? It's all in your head. That's why you're very nervous. And with the fact that you're, you know, you're coming together get new more tasks from work if you're working you know you're creating something new you're dealing definitely with a Sagittarius um, Leo or Aries the Virgo Capricorn um, Virgo Capricorn Scorpio Cancer Pisces and Aquarius so, all in all, I love you. Thank you so much for listening to me. Oh, and, you know, currently, this isn't going to last forever, okay? You're going to work shit out. All right. I will see you for next time's tarot or tomorrow's daily horoscope, all right? I love you, my beautiful Pisces. You keep being amazing. And if if you've got any issues and you'd like to talk and you, you don't know who to talk to, you can talk to me anytime you want. Um, if you don't feel comfortable leaving... A comment on my wall on my YouTube channel just to, um, or on this video it's okay what you can do if you want to reach me is go to the about section on my um, YouTube channel and look up my name and then find me on Facebook Messenger and just let me know hey I'm that Pisces that and, and you know from the video and I really need your help and I am no one, I don't have anybody to vent to. Can you, can you help me out? And sure, I'll help you out. I'll bring a new perspective. And you know what? And don't say sorry. Don't not say sorry for interrupting me. If I don't get back to you immediately, it's because I'm probably asleep. Because I'm a vampire. I sleep during the day. But um, I will get back to you as fast as possible, humanly possible, all right? Now I love you. Bye, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful friends.